are back with another wonderful episode. <laughs> episode. No. I like to say we are back with a much more informative episode. Right. Of that's, that's how right. to speak English in a proper way. And uh, I if would you like can... to remind why we started all of this. Yes, I was I was <laughs> getting to that point. That exact point. What was the what was quarantine. the fault? Quarantine. Yes, it was quarantine. <laughs> quarantine. Quarantine is the reason we're all here. <laughs> yes. Why this was the root cause, yeah. you know? So with that, we found out that quarantine is actually quarantine. Yeah. And also we found out a lot more yeah. like fruit chaos see i can still remember <laughs> you remember <laughs> i can't remember the long word though what was it effervescent effervescent <laughs> see so this is why we need to know how to pronounce english properly yes how to speak english like a native english speaker and for that phonetics like we discussed last week IPA IPA the international phonetics alphabet <laughs> is very very important yeah. so last week the, we discussed about vowels and today we will be doing diphthongs so this is hi english <laughs> so we're going to talk about diphthongs now before we talk about diphthongs Yes, we will be keeping in mind the vowels we learned in the last episode. Yes, right? the vowels. Speaking of those vowels, there we also want to stress on syllables because it's easier coming from vowels. Syllables. Right? Okay. Um so let's take syllables and put a pin on it and keep it as an important note. Yes, like an yes. advanced tip. <laughs> advanced tip. Okay, so yes. we'd be probably discussing about this yes. <clears throat> starting today. Today onwards. Yeah. We'll add it to our uh, previous list of uh, misconceptions and beautiful words right from today onwards. Okay. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. So, I would like to remind what a syllable is. Do you have any idea? Syllable. <laughs> I know what a syllabus is. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I I know what a silly bus is. I <laughs> can't quite recall what a syllable right. is. A syllable is a part of an English word and it's created by a vowel sound. Vowel. Oh, Which is okay. why I took it right uh, after vowels because Oh, you're quite a very intelligent <laughs> girl. So you can sync them together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Now, if you take the first word, like so, it's based on vowel sounds. Like I said, you break syllables according to the vowel sound. Okay. So, if you take the word present, how many syllables do you think there is? Two. Two. Why? Because because present. there's two vowels. Yes. Right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's how so you do if it. She, if she's an intelligent girl, I'm a fast learner. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the Got combo, to isn't give it? Him credit. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, so that's two syllables, like Marlinga said. Uh, now moving on to the second word, book. 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 <laughs> nah, it's only got one syllable. Hmm. Why would you say that? It has two O's. But still, the pronunciation <laughs> is not broken by a consonant. Right, and it's U. It's U. That's a vowel sound. Oh, ooh. and isn't that a? Phonetic Right, it's a phonetic See? vowel sound. That's why yes. U is considered one vowel sound. So and also, if you were paying attention, close <laughs> attention to our last episode, you should know what I know today. Yeah, so that is why book has just one syllable. Yes. Moving on to the next word, date. 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 How many syllables do you think that has? One. <laughs> well, that was a guess, but he is right. Right again. <laughs> Why? It's because you only hear one vowel sound. Even if the words are broken by, a co like even if the two vowel um, sounds are broken by a consonant. Yes. Uh, the E is silent in this case. You only hear the A, date, right. and then it ends with a T. So you so need you need uh, the intelligence of a fox to be yes. cunning and, and to also, know what 
what is important <laughs> at what point. Yeah, and silent words are very important. We'll yes. be learning about that sooner or later. Right. <laughs> so see, you can, you know, with 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 each step we take, you find out how vital and how important learning proper English is, is. right? And there's so many different so segments much. or parts of English. It's it's as big as the together. Indian Ocean, isn't it? Yeah. It's as big as the Indian Ocean. Right. There's a lot. It is. <laughs> So, uh, moving on from vowels, let's go to diphthongs, which we promised in the previous episode we'll be talking about today. What is a diphthong? It is quite a new word, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's more like a diphstick. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you don't know what a diphstick is, it's what you use to check if you have sugar or not. <laughs> All right. See, see, I, I didn't know that either. I just I remembered <laughs> it out of something and I just yeah. said it. Okay, so diphthongs are sounds that change from one vowel sound to another, but in the same syllable. Okay, I did not get that at all. <laughs> Which is why, again, I link syllable in between these. Mm. Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. So, please be the Diphthongs, again, take I'll us. repeat, yeah. is, uh, are sounds that change from one vowel sound to another, but in the same syllable. So okay. in one syllable, right. how the sound changes from one vowel sound to another. Okay. <laughs> so is it is it is it basically like how the so Okay, I'm still confused. <laughs> okay. Honestly, Let's I'm just confused. refer to the right, yeah. phonetics alphabet. Okay. And cool. then I guess you get a better idea. All right. right? Yeah. So we will be showing you the diphthong uh, phonetic alphabet here. And I know, like I said before, it's going to be look very, very confusing, but it's not that hard. <laughs> um, let's go and see the first letter of the phonetics alphabet when it comes to the segment diphthongs. So let's start with the first symbol of the diphthongs that we're talking about today. So the first letter, the sound is ear. I've got two ears. <laughs> I've got two ears. Two ears. <laughs> the sound of this is ear. You can use the word ear as a reference to that or here. Which you also do with the ear. Where? <laughs> where? What? <laughs> you just said here, that's why I'm asking oh, where. Like here, as in like, you can, you can say here, as in here, or here. here. Oh, okay, okay, you were referring to the sound. sound oh, here. Okay, here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And then, moving on to the second letter, it's uh, sounded or the sound of it is air. 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 Like hair. Hair. Dare. Hair. <laughs> Dare. Dare. Um, the third one is ua. Ua? Ua. Like tua. Oh, tua. Mm, tua. Ua. What are the other words we have? Tua. <laughs> To, uh, to uh, nothing's really coming into my head. I, I feel like when you're like on the spot, nothing really comes into your like, yeah. head's all clouded. Yeah, <laughs> it's all clouded. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on <laughs> <laughs> to the fourth symbol. Uh, ow. 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 Like now. Ow. Or now. <laughs> ow. Now. Now. All of that. <laughs> and then the fifth one. Ah, what? Didn't you just say two fives? Oh no. I guess I do have the knowledge of English, but when it comes to counting. Uh, bit, no, come on. Oh, I need you to keep me. All right. Keep the count focused. for you. <laughs> keep All the right. count for me. So this is the fifth one. That's one of the fourth one. Yeah. Oh, so cool. this fifth one is oh. Oh. Like go. I didn't get that. No. Oh. Go. Go. Oh. No. The sound is oh. Oh. The sixth one is A. 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 Like day. Day. Say. Say. Etc. Etc. <laughs> the seventh one is I. I. Like fine. Fine. Fine day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> We have the eighth and the final symbol. Oi. 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 
<laughs> God, is, you probably isn't... heard a lot of Sri Lankans saying it, but oi, no, oi is like, like a oi. cliche Spanish word. Oh yeah, that too. Oi, oi. oi. <laughs> right. But this is like boy, boy. See, wow, toy. okay. <laughs> toy, boy, etc. And that is it actually for diphthongs. Do you want to revise again so you could write down while I say it? Yeah, I think that's better. That's better, right? Yeah. Okay, so going on to the first one again. The sound is... Wait, wait, hold on. Let me keep calm for her. <laughs> She's going to mix it up. Okay, so <laughs> number one. Number one. Number one. Uh, ear. Ear. Hair. Hair. It's ear. <laughs> ear. Hair. So. Number two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> air. Air. Like hair. Like hair. Air. Air. Number three. <laughs> uh. Uh. Like tour. Tour. Yeah? Yeah. Number four. Oh. Four. Ow. <laughs> Ow. 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 Now. Now. Hmm. Okay. Is it five? Five. Well, One, we two, went three, wrong four, last time. <laughs> five. Exactly. It's O. 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 Like go. O. Like go. Now we have A. A. <laughs> But the sixth one. Are you saying A or are you saying eight? No, no, six, 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 six one. Six one. <laughs> so see, said A. Can you put eight? No, no, no. It's six, 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 right? Oh no. yeah, for that word. For the yes, word. For the yes, sound. Yes, see. Yes, sound. All yeah. right. Yeah, see. Yeah, what a coincidence. There you go. A. 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 Eight. Eight. Day. Day. <laughs> then we have the seventh one. I. 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 Five. Five. <laughs> and then eight. The eighth one. Eighth the one. Final one. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oi. Oi. Oi me. Oi. It's oi me. Oi me. Oh, who? Uh, Dwayne Johnson in one of the films. He says oi me. Oh. <laughs> you don't know that? Oh. No. Oh well. In Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> in Wayne. In Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oi. As in. Boy. Boy. Toy. Toy. Mm. Okay, so those were the diphthongs. So let's take a small break and be back with the uh, common errors. Yes, common errors. Uh, the new addition. The new addition. Stressing and yes. whatnot. So stay with us. We've got a lot more today. Ah! Hi. English. No, we are back. Oh. <laughs> <Oops>. So, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> so, we were talking about diphthongs. So, before you taught us about eight mm. different types of diphthongs. And now we're going to talk he about... He remembers because he kept count. <laughs> yes, I kept the count so I remember it. <laughs> yeah. So, now we're going to talk about some of the common errors we make while pronouncing all of these diphthongs. Oh, uh, words. Words. <laughs> See, again, a common error. He's yeah. been talking about diphthongs all day and then everything has become diphthongs. Right? Yes, everything <laughs> is just confusing. Anyway, today's mispronounced words are crisps. Crispy chicken. <laughs> crisps. 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 Uh, mind you that British people call, you know, the chips that you find in packets, yeah. crisps. It's the Americans that call it chips. All right, so... Yeah, I, I just remembered some of these packets, they have it crisps. printed as crisps. Yeah, because yeah. it's actually called crisps in uh, England, uh -huh. in the British English, and oh, in right. American English they call it chips. Okay, so how <laughs> many English languages or how many different versions, right. of, versions we have of English American, do we have? The common ones are American, British and Australian. We'll be focusing on the British. Mostly. So isn't Sri Lankan English Sri Lankan English? <laughs> is in German English German English? Like <laughs> so these are these are the main three countries that use English as yes, their native. Mostly. Yes. Yes. So based on that, the accent and the way they pronounce, and it's certain broken. words they use differ from country to country. All right. Um, I think you've probably seen all these videos about British versus American, where the American says one word, the British person says another word, another word. and so on. All and right. that's, this is a great example. Crisps and chips. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's good. It's good. So it's crisps good that you told is us. pronounced C... Sorry, spelled. Spelled. C-R-I-S-P-S. Crisps. The crisps. phonetic symbols are also shown below. 
The next word is recipe. <laughs> recipe. Ooh. Wait, wait. Now, you did tell us that this is a common error. Right. What is the error that we make? Yeah, some people think it, we don't pronounce the last e in certain words, so they say recipe. Or something like that, which is wrong. Oh, in this okay. case, you do pronounce the e in the end, so recipe. Oh God, recipe. you you have to be clear. <laughs> some some letter, I mean, some words you say you should not yeah. pronounce e. Some words you say you have to pronounce e. Well, um, uh, this let's is why just... English is complicated. <laughs> yes, it's very complicated. For and example, this is why we are here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For example, if you take the word hate, h a t e, yeah. there's an e, but it's you don't pronounce it. Silent. It's it's under hiding. Like date. Hate. Before we were in when yes. we were talking about syllables, we we were talking about date. Date. Exactly. It's a silent e. Hence one syllable. But now we got recipe, recipe and got date and it's. <laughs> oh, how so many much. syllables is recipe? <laughs> it's three. Recipe. Re. C. A p. All right. Recipe. It's Ooh. three so Yes. <laughs> Right. So now Re you must be. P. I think. E. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. So now you know how to break a word into syllables. Yeah. So that's wonderful. That's something great. Helping. Right. Right. Moving on. When we since we spoke about syllables, uh, in between our mispronunciations, now we're going back to the actual syllable part, <laughs> the stressing of syllables. Oh. Now, if we take. My. my, 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 your what? My, <laughs> the word is my. Ah, oh, the word my. Okay. <laughs> my. See, there is no vowels in that case. It's consonants. It's m y. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my. But the y here is pronounced i, which is a vowel sound. So that's one syllable for you. Okay, this is so <laughs> hard. This is so hard. Sometimes it's a consonant, sometimes it's a vowel. God. Consonants. Continents are what we live in. <laughs> right. I beg your pardon. <laughs> See, this is why we're here again. <laughs> okay. So the second word is apple. Apple. Apple has. Apple. Apple. Wait, what are we talking about now? Apple. <laughs> Syllables. Syllables. Stressing syllables. Right. Apple. Apple. So what's stressed over here? Ah, uh, this is actually not a stressed word. Okay. I'll get back to them soon. Okay. <laughs> We're just talking about apple. This is just syllables. General syllables. syllables. Apple. So apple. Apple. Has two syllables. Has two syllables. You sure? Apple. 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 All right. Apple. But where does it apple. break? And then per, where per. does it break? Is it between the P's or is it after the P's? Uh, apple. It's between the P's. <laughs> it's between because the P's. Ah, and then there's P, but then per. it's a uh. Apples. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> apple. Apple. So, with that, I think we've spoken about, we've spoken of two mispronounced words. Mispronounced two words. Two syllable two stressing syllable. words. Wow, that's a lot. And diphthongs. <laughs> So, shall we just rewind and recapture what we were talking about? The common error words, what are those? Mm. Crisps. Crisps. And recipe. Recipe, there you and go. Then, They're both food related, I just noticed. Yeah. <laughs> so then, yeah. then we spoke about... Syllables. Syllables. My. My. Although it's made of consonants, the Y is pronounced as I, I. So, which is a vowel sound. So it's 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 a it's a single syllable, is it? Single syllable. Single syllable. Then and we, we have spoke apple, about apple, which yes. is two. Two syllables. And the diphthongs. <laughs> and the diphthongs. I hope you wrote down the symbols along with what I helped pronounce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. With all the sounds. Like I told you last time, write it down in brackets on how to pronounce it. Like if it's uh, let me check one word. Uh, I think it was oi. Oi. The last one. Yes, the last so tongue was oi. So when you put eight. in like brackets, you can put o and i. It helps you remember how to pronounce yes. it in yes, case it's you easy. would forget. As long as it's convenient for you and for you to remember, that's all that matters, isn't it? Yes, that's true. 
So with that, okay. we'll take a small <laughs> break and we'll be back. No, I think we're done. No, we're not done. You're forgetting something very important. What's that? The beautiful words. <gasps> right. <laughs> You're forgetting the beautiful words. The most important part. Yes. <laughs> so before we move on to that, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> So now we're gonna talk about beautiful words. Someone's excited for beautiful words. Because <laughs> you get to learn a lot of true, new and wonderful true. words, mm -hmm. right? He's all caught up about learning effervescence, so he <laughs> just loves that. <laughs> I forgot the word. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our first word is actually, I haven't heard it at all. Inglenook. Okay, I'm lost between England and Nuke. <laughs> Ingle Nuke. I still didn't get it. How do you spell it? Uh, a partly closed space uh -huh. near a fire. What? Yeah, so basically, like you know how in those ho some houses in the f you have a fireplace. Yes. So that's like an Ingle Nuke area. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. Okay. So that's why you use the word Ingle Nuke. Okay. So how do you spell it? I N G L E N O O K. Oh, okay. Ingle Nook. Ingle Nook. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ingle Nook. The next word is, you've heard it, I guess, lagoon. Lagoon. Oh, mm. Sri Lanka's got lagoons. Lagoons. Yes. It does. Lagoon. An area of sea separated by sand and rocks. Lagoons. Lagoons. So, I just brought two beautiful words for today. For today? Yeah. I think for you to find out more beautiful words, you've got to keep joining with us for all the other episodes. Isn't that true? Coming specially for you. Coming specially <laughs> for you. Because of you. Because of and you. And only for you. Only for you. <laughs> all of that for you. So, I think... Um, we're almost done here, aren't mm. we? So Signing before, off as always. Yes. But so before that, <laughs> we should always, <laughs> I always. <remember> today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So let's have a small <clears throat> revision. Uh, today we revise diphthongs, two mispronounced words, two syllable stressed words, right. and two beautiful uncommon words. Beautiful uncommon words. With that, I would like to remind our phone number for your descendants messages or inquiries or whatever it is that you have oh, or questions. Right. questions if you've questions. got questions personal or if questions there's like a specific field of english that you want to enhance on i guess you can tell tell yeah. us that and we can yeah you know speak about it here exactly because we're here exactly. for you like we said before yes <laughs> only for you stressing that always always <laughs> um so again our phone number is zero seven six eight two one two two six six once again Zero seven six eight two one two two six six, and like Marlinga said last time, if you guys like the old-fashioned way, the of conventional way <laughs> of sending messages through mail. Yes, not the email, but the normal mail. Post. <laughs> Post. <laughs> well, our address is two hundred forty-four upon nine, Dinis Place, Cardiwala Road, Mala Bay. Repeat. 244 upon 9, Dinis Place, Cadwell Road, Mala Bay. Right, so that's it for today. So make sure you send us all the inquiries, all the questions that you've got. We will definitely, definitely look into all those because we are here only oh. for you, like Maldara <laughs> keeps saying, only, only, for only for you. you. All right, so, so stay tuned with Hi. English. See you. Bye. Bye.